answer. Now, speaking of, we understand there are developments in the corridors of justice, specifically the Nakuru Law Courts. As you can see right now, the three suspects out of the four are being arraigned. We just want to hear if there are any developments so we can pick up some of the charges they will be facing, all to do with that Wasingishu airlift program. Canada, he traveled on the 13th of June or this year to Canada on a visitor's visa. Yona, the first accused person, has not been summoned by the DCI to record any statement, and neither was he informed of any investigation involving him. Furthermore, the first accused person has not been notified that he is required to appear in court either yesterday or today. He only learned about his prosecution and indictment on social media and instructed me to appear for him. Yona, as, uh, as an officer of this court, committed to my other office, I have advised my client, <coughs> who is in Canada, to come back to Kenya and face his accusers and to answer to the charges leveled against him. You know, my client has committed himself to organize to come back to his home country to answer to the charges that are leveled against him. Yona, since it's not possible for him to appear today, my request is that the second, third, and fourth accused persons may proceed to take their plea while we defer the plea of the first accused person to such a date that he will be available in the country. In particular, I pray that in the next mentioned date, the, that mention be reserved for the, for the accused, first accused person to take his plea as well as any other preliminary issue that will be handled in the next mention. Your Honor, in the circumstances, my prayer is that we defer the plea in respect of the first accused person, and we, 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 we humbly request that his plea be taken in the next available mention dates, probably in a month's time or two months' time, Your Honor. That's all, Your Honor, much obliged. Yes, I'm here, Your Honor. I had instructed my. He was on that side. No, no, he was on that side. Sorry, sorry. It was me, I was on the other end. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor, uh, maybe before I address uh, the issue raised by my learned friend. May I can indicate to the court that uh, we have an amended charge sheet on record. In that context, Your Honor, we are applying to have the same endorsed and to have the same substitute, the charge sheet that was filed yesterday. 
Yona, I'm happy to hear counsel undertaking to avail the first accused person. It's quite commendable. The only problem I have is the time frame. We have no time. We don't have the luxury of time. We cannot allow the first accused person to be away for the two months that counsel has mentioned, especially after hearing that he's there on a visitor's pass or visa. We can only assume that he's there on holiday, unless the contrary is adduced. We cannot allow ourselves for this honorable court to be indulged in his own frolics, wherever he is. Your Honor, the warrants should subsist and remain in force until he turns up. I think it takes a day or two to travel from where he is to come to our country, to come back here. So we'll request for the earliest date possible for this first accused person to come and take plea. I'll be guided by your owner's diary, but this should not take more than two weeks for this person to be here and to take plea. Your Honor, with respect to the, third, uh, the other three accused persons, they are here. It's only prudent to have the warrants uh, lifted. And we proceed to take the plea. Your Not so much, Your Honor. We were only going to raise what the uh, council has raised with regards to lift Kibungei. Kibungei. Oh, maybe I'll just Kibungei. Kibungei. For the second, third, and fourth accused person. Um, we're glad that. Uh, uh, we were going to make the application for lifting of the warrants, but we're glad that um, uh, the prosecution has already raised that issue. Um, also, Your Honor, we have no objection to deference of plea taking of the first accused person so that uh, the second, third, and fourth accused persons can take plea today. <coughs> I, I wish to understand uh, your, your sentiment, Your Honor. You, um, you're saying that we should not uh, um, make this application in the absence of the first accused? I won't make the application now. I'm going to take the issue that we need to address. Yes, Your Honor, I. 
Yes. Most of you honor. Yes. Most of you honor in light of the fact that plea had not been taken. And therefore, it would be quite in order and lawful to have this because uh, churches can be amended at any time. So this is quite uh, uh, in line, Your Honor, uh, with the dictates of the procedure. Uh, because when this first accused person turns up, he will only plead to this new church because no one is seized of the... Your Honor, I will take that on behalf of uh, uh, Mr. Kibunde. My name is Oduor Bio. Oduor Bio. Oduor Bio. Uh, for the second, third, and fourth accused persons. Uh, we had uh, contemplated that particular uh, argument, but since uh, that particular church it was not even supplied to our clients, and it is the first time that we are actually uh, interacting with the second uh, uh, church. It, we do not see any prejudice that will be caused to our clients, and we will then, uh, you know, uh, extend our uh, an olive branch to the prosecution, and we can proceed with the second uh, church. Here. Yes, for, for my client, the owner, it, uh, it is inevitable than that he will have to answer to the amended charges. Uh, however, the owner, I, I had something to respond to the prosecution on the application that the warrant of arrest do subsist as against my client. I have seen no basis whatsoever for that. I'm sorry for that, but I'm, I'm, I'm concerned this issue. I have no issue with the amendment of the church, but uh, I don't know, we, we have not been supplied with any copy. Uh, I, I thought we could, our clients could only lead to what they have read or what has been served upon them. Um, but then, <coughs> since my client is not taking plea today, uh, I think I'm okay myself because we will have time to, to have a look at the chart. How many charges?
So what we do have to have affecting the best that I can be the church that is not signed, that's not cancelled, the church that is now there. Well, live pictures from the Nakuru Law Courts right there. As you can see, the three core accused, one of them being the Wasin Gishu Senator Jackson Mandego, Meshak Rono and Joshua Lelei at the dock, ready to answer to some of the issues they're facing, all to do with the botched 1.1 billion Finland program. And definitely mixed reactions, even as we await more developments in the corridors of justice. This coming after President William Ruto talked tough just yesterday. We are definitely following up on this development in a way only we can trust us to inform you once the plea is taken and once the legal counsel on either side finish arguing out their cases. But as you can see, live pictures from Nakuru where the three accused among the four have actually been presented and are set to take plea. So live pictures right there, we're definitely monitoring and we'll definitely go back once there are any developments.